Geneva Convention, including Protocol 1, the Convention of Con on Conventional Weapons of 1980, and the Chemical Weapons Convention. The European Parliament has repeatedly called for a moratorium on the future use of depleted uranium weapons. General Dynamics produced Gatling guns and fully depleted uranium and the required ammunition. And next we're going to talk about cluster bombs. This is just a diagram basically of how a cluster bomb works. Cluster bombs may be the most controversial weapons currently in use by any military in the world. Cluster munitions generally come in the form of a projectile that contains hundreds of bomblets, which are spread over an area the size of a football field. Though the small bombs are supposed to detonate on impact, the weapons carrier reported 3 to 16 percent dud rate, meaning that over, of the over 10,800 cluster bombs dropped by the United States since the beginning of the conflict in Iraq, thousands of bomblets failed to explode on impact. These duds then serve the same purpose as landmines. And I think it's, it's worth noting that the university, I believe, already has a policy against investing in companies that are involved in the manufacture of landmines. These weapons have been responsible for hundreds, if not thousands, of civilian deaths in recent years and pose a threat to our own troops. The first casualty of the war in Iraq occurred when a U.S. Marine inadvertently stepped on a U.S. wood cluster bomb. These munitions are indiscriminate. They cannot distinguish between combatants and civilians, and therefore have no legitimate use. In addition, they tend to affect children disproportionately, because unexploded bomblets often resemble toys. For instance, these might resemble a Nerf football, something that's popular here in the United States. The following images contain graphic depictions of the effect of cluster bombs on the civilian population of Iraq. Please be aware that they may be disturbing to some. So we actually picked one of the um, most benign, I guess you could say, images because we didn't want to get too graphic. If you want to do a search on your own time, um, you're welcome to do that for the effects of cluster bombs on the civilian population. And certain bomblets, like the one depicted here, are coated in the exact same color as food aid packages dropped by the United States. Numerous civilians have reportedly mistaken the bombs as aid and picked them up, prompting the weapons to explode. On the uh, left-hand side is a cluster bomb, a CBU-97 based bomblet, and on the right-hand side is a U.S. aid package containing food. As indiscriminate weapons, cluster bombs are already outlawed by a number of international treaties, including the Geneva Convention. Even the United States government has recognized that cluster munitions have had a deadly impact on civilians stating that they would attempt to switch to bombs with a lower drug rate by 2018 in order to reduce civilian deaths, according to a CNN report. Swedish pension fund AP7 has taken a stand against cluster bombs, selling all of its holdings and companies involved in the production.